Hello expanse lovers, uh, welcome to uh, this video about the Morrigan class uh, patrol destroyer. Uh, this is my 3D printed version of the ship and in this video we will take a look how to assemble it and how the ship actually looks, what are its features and so on. I uh, actually will not uh, show uh, the 3D model uh, because I don't have my laptop. Uh, with me, so this is uh, only uh, the uh, real model. Okay, so let's go straight into the assembling. Okay, so I already inserted the pins and now uh, insert the, this piece and this piece. like that. Now we take this piece and simply insert it, insert it here. So here we have pegs and here we have holes. So we will simply put it together like this. Yeah. So now it's inside. Okay. So now uh, we have this piece and we take this one and simply put the two together yeah, like that and now we will take this piece and simply put it there and then the second piece So everything is together. Now we will take the back and simply push it together. Okay. And now, now we take this and, and push it down okay now we take this and push it here all the way down and then we take this and push it once again all the way down okay and now we take the uh, bronze one and push it down here and then the uh, gray one and push it down here and we will do it uh, two more times okay like this yeah i'm sorry i accidentally uh, well I thought I'm recording, but I didn't. Uh, so here, uh, the uh, driving cone as well as the supports are, are already there. Once again, I'm sorry, but it's uh, not a big problem. Uh, it has a hole, there is a peg, so you will simply slide it, and then you will put all those six supports. Uh, they are very thin and very tiny, so maybe you will need to use uh, glue. Uh, in my case I didn't, uh, so yeah, they are in place, though I think they can fall pretty easily. Uh, but unless I really have to, I don't want to use any glue. So here we have the main box of the maneuvering thrusters assembly, and here we have the part with the, the, with the thrusters themselves. So now we will insert it uh, through here. Okay like this and now we will insert it here so here we have two holes and two pegs okay like this and we will do it two more times for the other thruster assemblies okay and that means that the bag is basically done now uh, 
I will attach this part. I know it's part of the front, so uh, theoretically it should be added when the entire front is done. But I think actually it will be easier to insert now and then rest of the front part would be assembled to, the, to, to this. So this is how I will do it. Okay, so yeah, attached like that. Okay, we have this piece and we have the front piece. Uh, this piece has two pegs. This piece has two holes and we will now put the two together. Like this. So I already uh, inserted the uh, antennas. Uh, in my case, uh, it's a toothpick. Um, in your case, if you print the models uh, which I included, uh, they will be printed. Now I will insert this part and yeah, like this and take this small piece and insert it here. Like that, and, and that's the first part of the front. Then uh, we will take this piece. As you can see, I already inserted all the pins, and now we will take this piece and simply put the two together like that. And now we take the first part and simply slide the two halves together like this. Now we will take this piece and simply put it here and slide it to the place like that. Okay. Now uh, this will be a little bit more problematic because now we have to insert those but there is nothing to hold them yet. They are actually held on place by this panel so we have to basically insert both of them at the same time. And the same on the other side. Okay. Now we will take this part, which are the maneuvering thrusters, and simply push it place and we will do the same on the other side. Okay. Now we will take this piece and we will slide it Now, we take this piece and we simply put the two halves together like that and we do it twice and when we have it, we will put it here, like this. So uh, I installed uh, already this part and I had to reprint this one because in the previous one I forgot to make this opening here. So now basically we just put the two together and that means that the front is done. 
and now we simply have to put the two halves together so here we have the bags and pins and here we have a, a holes so we have to put the two together okay like this uh, you can notice that I removed this part yeah because I'm a moron I forgot that it has to be put only after the two halves are connected because there is also a pack for here so now we can put it okay like this so the main ship is done and now we will move to PDCs and the air bridge. Here is the, uh, here is the air bridge. As you can see I already assembled it. I didn't really uh, want it to uh, film it. It's very delicate uh, thing to actually get those knobs there. Uh, so I do, didn't really uh, want to be bothered by uh, filming it. Uh, after all, uh, it, it's already filmed on my video for Rostinante because the mechanism is exactly the same. The bridge is only a little bit shorter, but otherwise it's exactly the same. So, yeah, just assemble it and then we will put it where it belongs, which is here. So, here we will put it. Okay, like this, just put it inside. And it can now be extended and retracted back. So now we will assemble the PDCs. So we will take one of the uh, magazines, we will take the second and simply put it there. Then we will take this small piece and put it here. And now we have to take this very, very tiny and small pin and insert it here. Okay, like this. So, yeah. Now we will, we will take this part and this part and simply put them together and now we will take the cannon and insert it here so that the holes are aligned and once that is done we will take this bigger pin and simply put it through okay like this now we have to uh, we had uh, the uh, magazines in the extended position but we have to put them uh, we have to retract them and now we will take the entire thing and put it inside like that and we can take we can take the bottom and simply cover everything okay And now we will add the coverings. Uh, here uh, we will simply put them in place, roughly. And I am using toothpicks, uh, you can use whatever you want, to simply go through the hole so that uh, we are properly aligning aligning them as they are supposed to be. So this is the one and this is another one. So once again When they are aligned, we will simply remove the toothpicks and take this 
connector pieces and simply put them one and the other one is here and two and it is done and now we can close it And now we have to insert it here. Be careful not to uh, insert it the wrong way. So I will just just to be sure. Yeah. So like that. So basically we have to put it there like this. Now. Uh, because it is designed to be uh, with tight to hold in place with tight fit, uh, you have to wiggle it in place. So yeah, you have to use you have to you have to use force and wiggle it uh, down. So I will do that now. Okay, like that, and you of course have to do it twice. And, well, that means that the ship is actually done. And here is the entire Morrigan class ship with all its, in all its beauty. Um, one thing that I want to mention, as you can see, it is not with the stand. Uh, it turns out that the first iteration of the stand I printed proved to be flawed. So uh, I will have to design a different one and then uh, reprint it. Uh, but because of the stand being a singular piece, I don't really think that's a problem. Right now the ship simply don't hold in the stand and falls down. So, yeah. I am really glad that all the supports around the drive cone uh, really hold in place, that I didn't have to use a glue. Yeah, here uh, on the entire build there is not a single drop of glue, uh, of glue and everything holds together simply by the friction. Yeah. Uh, I have to mention that uh, the PDCs aren't that easily retracted and extended as I hoped. Certainly not as uh, clean as uh, in uh, the Rocinante. I don't really know why, I'm not sure. Uh, but as you can see, they are uh, retracted mm -hmm. or, well, they are extended, I guess. Uh, but it requires some fiddling around, which is something I'm not really happy about. But, uh, well, it's better it's better uh, than nothing uh, okay yeah uh, then of course here uh, we have uh, the air bridge so yeah, here I really want to do it carefully because it's very thin so yeah the air bridge is extended and retracted and yeah, here we have the PDCs. I will I will try to actually close them. So yeah, one. Yeah, that that went that went well. Okay, and the second one, or I will rotate it so that it's on camera. Yeah, so. Like that. Yeah, it seems that this one is really. Um, yeah, I don't want to use unnecessary force uh, because I'm afraid that uh, it might be lethal. So. Um, Well, I actually used a pen so I could move it down and I did. 
so here it is closed okay so yeah that's about it it doesn't have any other features yeah, i was thinking maybe uh, that the uh, torpedo tubes could be open but they are not even on the rossi so i in the end uh, decided to well skip that part but speaking of rossi i think it would be nice if we uh, make a comparison between the two so we will do that and here we have the two ships next to each other mm -hmm. and um, you can see uh, that well the uh, pdcs are really the same and you can see that uh, they are roughly the same length though not entirely because rossi is obviously bigger of the two of those two i am but i really think uh, that they work really nice together though we don't actually see anything like that in the show mm -hmm. uh, so uh, yeah i'm i think it went out really nicely so yeah okay yeah obviously rosie has far larger uh, driving cone and a different paint scheme because it's no longer a martian ship and of course the cls plating but i actually think that the color scheme for the morrigan class is really really nice and this is uh not painted this is actually printed i tried a new um, new color for the filament which is bronze and i really like how it went out so it kinda makes me think about designing more martian stuff the problem is that um there is not much to choose from uh, the Shiroko class theoretically but I don't like that one to be uh, perfectly honest and yeah there's the Orion class but it w appeared in the show so few times that I'm not sure if I would be able to actually do that not to mention that it basically uh, all the time was on the side of Inaros and yeah I don't really like that Okay, I will stop uh, bothering you about my plans and uh, well, I hope uh, you liked it and uh, we will see each other in the next project. Have a very nice day and bye bye.